Unit Two: The Truth About Fake News. Read about it. You've got a message. It's a link for a buy one get one free coupon at your favorite coffee shop. You happily say you'll treat your buddy, and you even share the link with other friends. You order the drinks and show the clerk your coupon, only to find it's fake. This kind of fake message or news usually takes different forms, and it may lead to embarrassment or even tragedy. Let's take a look at another example of fake news. In India, thousands of schoolchildren breathed a sigh of relief when they learned they didn't have to get their shots. Doctors were supposed to give them vaccines for potentially fatal diseases. However, upon seeing news stories on social media saying that vaccines can cause autism, the school authorities canceled the vaccinations as if the stories had been proven true. Later, doctors conducted thorough tests and concluded that there was no connection between vaccines and autism. Unfortunately, that didn't stop people from sharing the stories. Which might have resulted in the unnecessary deaths of more children. As these examples show, fake news presented and spread online may bring serious problems. So, what exactly is fake news, and why is there suddenly such a great quantity of it? Fake news can be defined as articles, statements, and stories designed to confuse or lie to the public on purpose. Since people now have access to social media, websites, and chat groups. They can easily spread messages which can reach huge audiences. Consequently, a lot more fake news is seen nowadays than before. Fake news comes in various forms and is used for a number of different purposes. One of them is clickbait. Headlines of clickbait are often too attractive to ignore, such as "buy one get one free" coupons at coffee shops. Tempting as these offers are, they include very few details. In addition, they generally exaggerate some facts, omit others, and just make things up. In short, clickbait functions to make people browse certain websites. Another common type of fake news is propaganda. Although this type seems quite believable, it is meant to deceive people. Propaganda is usually political, but also covers other topics such as vaccines. In general, propaganda is aimed at frightening people. It tells them that doing something like getting a vaccine or electing a particular politician will produce a terrible outcome. To tackle fake news, businesses in different countries have taken action. For example, some large media companies, including the BBC and the Washington Post, established fact-checking services that help people confirm whether a news story is true. Additionally, technology firms like Google and Facebook have promised to highlight and report fake news. Nevertheless, there might be some problems. For example, Facebook's fact-checking service has been accused of racial and political bias, so the service might also be fake. What people have to keep in mind is that they should never fall for fake news. When they read a news story, they can't just mindlessly accept it. Instead, they have to be on their guard and check whether it is truthful or not. By doing so, more and more people can stay more alert to fake news and misinformation. Hopefully, there will be fewer victims of fake news, and the public will not be easily swayed.